the Wagon Wheel Motel on Route 66 here in Cuba, Missouri. Look at the neon lights. We have decided to rest our weary heads here tonight. We'll have to get a better video with everything in the morning, but we cannot pass up the chance to show off the neon lights of the Wagon Wheel Motel. Here's the main lobby area for the Wagon Wheel at night. As you can tell, you can hear all kinds of insects here in the evening time. As you can tell, here is the Wagon Wheel Motel. It's, it's a Route 66 classic. As you can tell, there's not much room, but it is the vibe being on Route 66 and you really cannot beat the price. It's very clean. And ooh, very dark. The bathrooms I can touch from wall to wall, no problem. The shower. Got this extra bright light. Yeah, this one. Oh, look at her. Mm. Oh, look at me. Mm. Mm. Oh, my. Well, we finally did it. We stayed at the wagon wheel. Here in Cuba, Mazoa. Now, right over here is where the guest laundry and ice is here. We did not know this last night. So, it's right in the back. Right in here. You even got a little wagon wheel to haul your stuff if you need to. And this is how Gypsy Lynn used to wash her clothes. The more front part of the hotel room that we had. And here is our view outside from the wagon wheel. Look at the morning we're having. It's going to be a beautiful day. Ah, sun shining. They even have a little patio for us. They can have a fire pit going on. Everything you would want is here at the wagon wheel. Yes, we do. Chandelier spotted on the tree, hanging there. And there's our hotel room, the number five. Let's drop in any mailbox. They guarantee postage. Look at this old car here. Well, a little TLC and you can fix that puppy up. They even have a pit here if you want an oil change or anything else you might need to have worked on underneath that hood. At one time, this was probably a fully functional operation. That's what we need to do to our garage. Yeah. Now this is the oldest operating continual hotel on Route 66. 
So this is kind of a historic place. Got the old gas pumps here. And the main office area. Even the cucumbers are all ready, or not, zucchini is all ready for the picking there. There's the wagon wheel. Now on this side you can't really tell much. On the other side is where it's at. But last night was the beauty and magic of the wagon wheel. We're here at the world's largest rocker. It holds a record in tw since 2016. This place rocks. Now, as you can tell, this thing used to rock, but because people were getting on it and making it rock, the owner was afraid that it would land on somebody, and he welded it shut here. And look, we made a friend. Everywhere we go, we make friends. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You welcome us? Yeah, you want to. This place rocks, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Wow, oh wow. Gypsy Lynn, go in front of it so we can show the size, the magnitude of how big this is. She's so small. <laughs> Look, these are the dogs even coming to her. This is in Fanning, Missoula. Also, here at this general store, they have cats. And I got a, I got a buddy. Let's go chase that cat. Yeah, there's another cat back there. There's, there's all kinds of kittens here. Oh, don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm, it's just me. It, it's just me. Tell him. Tell him. Yeah. Don't, kitty, don't leave. Don't leave, kitty. It's okay. The dog won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Come here, boy. A girl? Yeah. You happy? You happy we come see you? You know, we expected to come see the world's largest rocker. Instead, we see the friendliest dog. Uh -huh. Him and the cat were playing when we were videoing. Oh, they're not. They're Caesar. Yeah. And see ya, Kitty. Nope. Can't like dogs. You just want to play with them, aren't you? <laughs> There's a mural on the wall with the world's largest rocker. This is Danny's gas hole. Here in Fanning, Missouri. Yeah, Further compared to scale on the world's largest rocker, I have put my Jeep underneath the rocker so you can 
tell how huge this gigantuan rocker is. Look at this. And now we have even more animals. There's cats, dogs, and play with them. Ooh, they're hissing at him. What are you doing? Let's see, look. Come see me before I leave. Come on. I'll ask later. How did I get poison ivy? Oh, come here. Come see me before I leave. Yeah. All right. You be good. You guard this place, okay? Hello, Mr. Wiener. It's been a while since we've seen you. It's been one year since we've seen your cousin, Mr. Diggity, up at Elk City, or Elkton, Oregon. Now, looks like you're serving some wieners today. And also that you're in the shape of a wiener. Now, that's just amazing. Now, I got a couple questions for you. If you don't mind looking into my eye and tell me the truth, are you kosher? That's what I want to know. Are you kosher? I mean, look at the size of that wiener. I mean, this thing is as big as my arm. Now let's look in the back of this wiener guy. He is definitely shaped kind of funny but this is what you have here in Cuba Missouri the wiener man he's giving wieners as fast as he can putting mustard on his wiener there's nothing wrong with that I put mustard on my wiener all the time Gypsy Lynn, what do you think about the size of this wiener? You ever had a wiener this big? 